10. The Megane is a car for people who know and like normal cars. You'll find little of the bare design or eccentricity that mark out the VW ID3 or i3 or Leaf as pioneers. It's conventionally desirable and has a handsome, well-finished and easy-to-use cabin. 9-inch. Make up your own mind about the look of the car and what it says about you, but be in no doubt that underneath this is a fundamentally very well-executed machine. It treads the fine line between lifestyle and family versatility as deftly as either the Polestar 2 or Jaguar I-Pace, and like them has a bit about it dynamically. Put simply, for an electric car, it's engaging to drive. 8. The Model Y is now the poster car for if you delete the engine, the gearbox, the exhaust and all that fuel tank plumbing, then look how roomy you can make the cabin, look how much storage you can offer in the boot. Obviously that's not as sexy as autopilot or ludicrous mode, but it's going to make this a great car to live with, before you get to the foolproof charging, frugal real-world electrical consumption, and all the other stuff that makes Tesla's genius electric all-rounders. 7-inch once more Skoda has built a car that could well be a better buy than the equivalent Volkswagen. Won't know for sure until we test them together in comparable specs, but on first impressions the Enyaq Edge is the ID. 4 on several fronts. It drives just as well as its cousin but has a less annoying, more practical interior and is cheaper to buy. 6. BMW will do battery versions of all its mainstream models, as it already has with the Mini Electric and 9.3, but it also wanted to build this all in electric car as a showcase for its best work on materials, aerodynamics, and driver assist. The iX is a big comfy home on wheels, and a vast amount of technology has been poured into making sure the driver is soothed while the passengers kick back. It's efficient for a full size SUV. The range is impressive, and it can recharge pretty rapidly too. 5 inch. It's the urban EV concept that became a legend, the legend that became a prototype and the prototype that became the dinkiest, most desirable car since the Suzuki Jimny. It's the Honda E, Honda's first mass-market pure electric car, and we want 1 inch. 4 inch. Is it better than a Taycan? It offers a fraction more comfort and space and a smidge less speed, but really the differences are minute. It'll come down to which brand you prefer and which body you're drawn to, and on that basis the e-tron GT is in with a shot of ruffling some feathers in Stuttgart. 3. That Hyundai is now confident enough to put a car as bold-looking as the Ioniq 5 on sale is impressive. But the fact this retro XXL hot hatch bodywork conceals one of the most complete family EVs money can buy is downright remarkable. If Hyundai can maintain this momentum behind the upcoming members of the Ionic family, then the likes of VW's ID cars and even Mercedes's EQ clan ought to be extremely worried. 2 inch. The Model 3 was Top Gear's 2019 saloon of the year, beating the old guard and maintaining its lead of the new EV pretenders. It's been in production since mid-2017, but even heading into middle age, nothing on the market has yet managed to beat the Model 3 on all fronts. While not without flaws, it is quite simply one of the most interesting, compelling cars in the world right now. 1 inch. The Cross Turismo is the most complete fast estate available today. Not the biggest or most practical by a long chalk, but in terms of its breadth of ability and fulfilling the role it sets out for itself, it is brilliant. We have it over an Audi RS6 or any Panamera. Only the Rowdier E63 could possibly tempt us to the petrol side. The Taycan can absolutely entertain on the right road and is a delight to cruise in a GT with the heart of a sports car. More importantly, it's a proper Porsche that just happens to run on electricity.